door finally opened, and a neatly dressed woman walked out. Car keys in hand, she was giving a polite thanks before she left. From behind her came my psychologist, with the upper half of her body obscured by a bouquet of flowers that were almost too big for their vase. She placed them on the secretary's desk and then waved the BMW X5 owner goodbye. Mr. Bennett? She called out for my name while one hand was reaching inside her purse. I stood up and greeted her with a nod and she directed me inside the room. She took one sharp look at her smartphone and then hid it right back. No watch on her wrist, so I thought she was just checking the time. We sat down and I gave her a warm smile. All my hopes were in her. Well then, Mr. Bennett, what do you want to talk about? I took a deep breath and started. I can't keep secrets. I don't do it maliciously, but as soon as I have the chance, it's out. I tried to hold it in, but it's as hard as holding my breath. And you know what's worse? I can always tell when people are trying to hide. It's a damn curse. She blinked rapidly and cocked her head slightly to a side, probably deciding whether I'm a nutcase or not. Can you give me an example? Sure. That woman that just walked out, she hates that she's the breadwinner in the relationship. She would have wanted to be pampered by a strong partner, but she doesn't want to admit to it, because that would make her look like a bad or ungrateful person. Her eyebrows raised and her lips parted slightly. I could tell that a crucial connection was being made in her mind. And how exactly does this work? Did you see the way she handled her car keys? It was like she's entitled to it, but that frustrates her. She pursed her lips in approval and her eyebrows climbed even higher on her forehead. When was the first time you... Please excuse me, this might be important. No problem. As the screen lit, her brow furrowed and her fingers started typing in a rush. At first I thought it was because of the unprofessionalism guilt, but then my mind went back to the large bouquet outside this room and the sharp check of her phone just before the session and then the furious typing. That's when I realised. He forgot your birthday, didn't he? She froze with a look of terror on her face. The kind of terror that a psychologist with a stain in her resume has. The kind of terror that a woman feels when the secret of her dysfunctional marriage is ousted. I slapped my face and berated myself for doing it again. I'll see myself out.